Obviously, you all know, uh, if you've seen my comedy before, I'm not particularly uh, enamoured by political correctness. So if anybody has never seen me before and you are one of these little sort of, I get offended at everything and everywhere I look there's a Nazi. Um, you might want to leave now. I'll just give you pre-warning, you know, give you a trigger warning. You know. In case suddenly that, you know, brainwashing that you've gone through kicks in and you realise that you've been conditioned to not even laugh anymore. You know. so I'm just letting you know. I guess I don't do political correctness because it's intellectual colonialism and psychological fascism for the creation of, the creation of thought crime. Right? So, which it is, I mean, you know, people go, oh, I was offended, you know, well, I'd see, I don't give a fuck. Right? Because, <laughs> Because it doesn't matter whether you're offended, it's of no one's fucking importance but you, that's it. It's your subjective world space, dickhead, it's nothing. You know. It's true, it's true. I'm sick of this fucking word offended. I've never been offended in my life. I've been abused and I've been made to feel bad because, you know, I let my... But offended? What? What? Gives a fuck. Then you go, oh, I was offended. Well, well, don't be. See, I can't offend you. See, no one can offend you. All you can do is choose to be offended. As soon as you go, oh, he's offending me, well, you've just given away your power. <laughs> oh, someone's affecting me. I'll just give my power away. Ah. <laughs> the Buddhists told you this 10,000 fucking years ago. Yeah, well, yeah, I was offended. Well, you don't give a fuck. So you, so you live in, in the West where they've given you free speech. That's a psychological landscape. That you, and that's why we have free speech laws, because they protect offensive speech. They don't protect unoffensive speech. That's why you have a free speech law. So you can say fucking rude things and then the law kicks in and goes, you can't burn that cunt to death. <laughs> That's what it's for. If no one says anything controversial, then you don't need the law, it's passive, it just sits there. <laughs> as soon as you say controversial thing, the law goes, I'm fucking here, don't worry about it. I'll keep these torch carrying motherfuckers away. But they're all fucking, fucked in the head running around. I'm fucking offended, I, you know. And here's, here's, here's what's so funny about these modern day little psychological foot soldiers, right? <laughs> so when I grew up, I was in metal bands, so I hung around a lot of punks, a lot of metalheads. Now, 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 punks, they were more sort of, you know, political. So they'd rock around with their fucking mohawks and stuff and they had political, we were in metal, so we just listened to carry on about Satan, didn't really give a fuck about politics, right? <laughs> For the punks, I was sort of, you know, I'm a bit of anti-society, you know, I'm a punk, you know, I'm rocking around with me fucking mohawk. Whereas today, you know, they knew they were sort of anti-society. I mean, it's interesting as they get older, of course, they realise they're not completely anti-society because, you know, they like to, you know, use the toilet. <laughs> you know, I need society for a couple of things. You know. yeah, if you're true anti-society, you should be taking a shit in the backyard, basically, yeah. No one's an anarchist after a curry, are they? Just... <laughs> Oh, I like this bit of society. Uh, I want that bit too. Uh. But see, they, they were sort of, you know, but see, see they, this new mob, see, here's, here's the difference. The dichotomy's gone weird. So they think they're rebels and they're against this thing because they're against the system. Now, the system, they're three linchpins of the system. It's colonialism, capitalism and Christianity, right? They're the big evils, right? that have brought you to this state and it needs to be destroyed, right? Because it's inherently oppressive and everything that's oppressive needs to be destroyed so this new progressivism can just manifest. Because they're delusional, right? <laughs> and their big plan for this to manifest is that no one ever gets offended again. <laughs> you see the impossibility of that fucking thing? If we can just get no one ever to get offended, no one, if no one ever says anything offensive again, and we just get rid of the racists, and it'll just be like fucking, you know, whew, Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. It'll just be, be like Burning Man Festival every day. Where are you from? India? Cool. Gay? Fantastic. And so they're against this system. But the thing is, the difference is they're upset because this system that they're against, they're upset because it won't accept them. They don't go against the system. They go, we hate the system. And why doesn't it accept us? See, with punks, it was the opposite. They didn't rock around with a six-inch purple mohawk going into the bank going, can I have a job? 
And then the bank went, no. And they went, that's discrimination. <laughs> See, everything to them is discrimination. Whereas my mates had a six inch mohawk, walked into the bank, can I have a job? No, you can't. I see your point. <laughs> and the thing is, you know why they had six inch pink mohawks? Because they didn't want to work in a fucking bank. <laughs> it's complete Orwellian lunacy. A world of subjective world space of the individual into a collective fucking mode of chaos. It's, it's insanity. <laughs>